Hi, this is Jeffrey from Jeffrey App Tech, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I will be showing you how to use the anonymous login with our app. So first of all, to get started, go ahead and go to your Firebase project in Google, go to authentication, go to sign in methods, and for anonymous, enable it. Now that you've enabled it, go back to Xcode, scroll to the right, and put in an anonymous view controller. So just drag in a new view controller, give it a gray background, and again we're going to copy that and paste it here. And then we're going to have a button for anonymous login. which we can also copy. So just copy the sign up button and label it anonymous login. Then at the bottom we're gonna put two of those buttons. So one's for sign in and then copy and paste command C command V and put that right underneath put that a little bit above sign up so we've got these two in and we'll link them up so sign up control drag to this one and let it be a show and from sign in control drag to sign in and show Great. Now we're going to have the ones that go to the anonymous login. Show. All right. And scroll this way a little bit. Copy and paste. and control drag that to there show and just checking to make sure we have that all right we have that too okay so we've got our segues in now what we want to do is create the file for the view controller so go to file new file and let it be a coca touch class call it anonymous login view controller save it in your firebase folder and save now i usually like to dr put all the files above the main.storyboard but it depends for you now we'll link them together great now we'll add the constraints So go to constraints, add missing, or just for all of them reset to suggested. Great. And again, we want to add the missing for these, so we'll just reset to suggested. So go ahead and scroll down to reset and then same with this one great now that we've added in this constraints let's get started with anonymous login view controller coding for the first one you want to import firebase auth but it doesn't come up what's wrong so we'll import Firebase first anyway. But Firebase auth is separate, and you have to open it up in CocoaPods. So we'll find the pod file, go to pod, and then fire, Firebase slash auth, and then we'll install. Wait for it to install.
Great, it's installed. Now we can switch back to Xcode and import Firebase Auth now. And now it works completely. So first, you want to have an IB action. So IB action. Oh, sorry, forgot the app. Action func anonymous login. And again, it's with underscore sender any. All right. Now, inside here, go ahead and we will set up the Firebase auth. So, first of all, inside you want to say fir auth, just or Firebase auth dot auth dot sign. dot sign in here let's see so let's see what it auto completes to we might have to import firebase too auth dot so we'll start over firebase auth dot auth dot sign in anonymously with completion and here we'll have that curly brace along with the second one and first of all you want to have the anonymous user which is an FIR, which is a Firebase user, FIR user. And an error. They're both optional. And we're going to have an end. And first, we want to check if the error is nil. If it is, great. That means we can run our code. And that has been renamed to auth. So first we want to print the user ID. Since we don't have one, it's part of it's part of the anonymous user. So we can do that and anonymous user dot uid now we will define our new user that's equal to an fir database dot database or this has been renamed to database dot database dot reference dot dot child with the users dot child anonymous user dot uid what do we have here so we have an error here So let's just leave it as it is for now, and we'll fix it later. So once you've put in the new user, we'll, we will set the new user values. New user dot set value. And we're going to have an array. Display name. anonymous ID is equal to the anonymous user dot UID
and we'll set the profile URL which is blank because there is no profile URL and now we'll perform we'll leave this part for perform segue and we'll print logged in so we'll put in that and let's go and run now we have a few errors here so I'll stop it let's put that and we'll delete that so database is a little bit So, let's see. So, now go ahead and go back here, and instead of signing anonymously, we want this to be like this. And instead of a completion, it just goes like that. And we'll call this user an error. First of all, we want to change this to user and change this part to user to, as well. And delete this. User. And instead of ref, it's database dot dot database dot reference but you might be wondering why this doesn't work well first of all let's see so database is its separate pod so we have to install that so we'll go back pod firebase slash database we'll install again all right great now let's go back and we're gonna wait for this to pre-build an error here and let's recompile so we still get an error here all right so let's see what what's wrong here it tells us use of unresolved identifier fir database well the problem is we haven't imported the firebase database library yet once we import that it should be ready and now we'll check for any more errors hmm. oh that's been deleted so what happens is often when you have an IB action, it's already linked up, and you delete the code, it's going to cause a SIGABAR error, and you may not know what to do. But the solution is to break all the IB outlets, put back the code, and link it up again. That's all you have to do. Now we'll run again. And hmm, this is a little bit of a unwrap error, but you can always fix that. When it tells you that these are unwrapped, just fix it. it. Tells you to unwrap it. All right, it's done. 
Now we'll go to the simulator. It's loading. We have set this to the normal view, but we can go to anonymous login and anonymously logged in. And if there's no error there, that means it's good. Anyway, so we got this to work, which is really cool. So we, now we can log in anonymously. In the next video, we will be setting up Google login along with setting up the email login. But anyway, I'll see you then.